hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to integrate opencv in native ios application and then we will be converting uh, an image like an rgb image like a normal image to a grayscale image using opencv so let's get started so first thing which you have to do is you will have to go to opencv.org slash releases and from over here you will have to click on this ios pack button so it will download the ios hdk for you uh, in zip format you will have to unzip it uh, once you unzip it uh, just create an ios project so i am using uh, ui kit but if you want you can use app kit as well uh, sorry swift ui as well uh, depends on you uh, once uh, that is done all i am doing is that uh, so here i have written down few steps on how to do this so i'll go to my downloads folder where i have unzipped this uh, ios hdk for opencv and i will just drag and drop uh, this drag and drop it over inside my uh, project so make sure all these are checked for you as well and i'll just click on finish now this will take a time a little bit of time for the opencv hdk to reflect but i think that's fine uh, the next thing which we have to do is we'll have to create this header file called opencv.wrapper now most of this uh, opencv code is still in objective c++ uh, like it is in c++ that's why we have to use objective c++ to call that c++ code uh, via swift uh, because we want to use swift and we don't want to use objective c++ uh, or c++ as it, as of that matter but we will have to write uh, the main logic of opencv inside objective c++ uh, they don't provide apis as of uh, like uh, what i know that they don't provide apis in form of swift so here you can see the opencv2 uh, thing has been uh, done because we dragged and dropped our uh, folder inside our project uh, next we have to create this header file so i'll just copy this name i'll just click new file i'll select header file click next and here i will just add this name i'll click create uh, the next thing which i will do is i will uh, copy paste some code because i have uh, uh, written some code <laughs> i don't uh, it's very difficult for me to remember all the code so i'll just take this file i will explain it to you as well we'll just copy this code and i'll paste it over here so basically uh, this is part of swift this is part sorry of ios this is part of ios as well here we are creating a method called grayscale image uh, which we need to use inside our objective c code or objective c++ as that of uh, objective c++ in our case so it takes a ui image and it gives a new ui image back so that's what uh, we are defining we are just uh, defining a method over here we are not actually writing the implementation for it uh, next we'll have to create an objective c file so i'll just create right click new file objective c file click next i'll return the name click next click create uh, create a bridging header yes now you will have to change the name extension to dot m, from dot m to dot mm so the extension will so this will help us to convert the objective c file to objective c plus uh, plus next i'll just open this code as well so i'll just copy paste this code even i don't understand the entire code to be honest with you but i'll try to explain is explain it as much as i can so these are the part which we are importing from opencv this is our header file which we created uh, and here we have defined our method so this convert to mat is fine uh, this is also fine so this is the method which we have defined it inside our header file so basically whenever you want to convert a normal image to a grayscale image we require this mat and for that they have written all this boilerplate code uh, even i don't understand it and here uh, what we are doing is that we are telling uh, opencv that convert an rgb color to gray color for our particular image so that's what is basically happening over here and then we are returning the ui image back uh, next okay next we'll have to create a prefix header file and uh, okay so just now a prefix header are mostly helpful for uh, communicating 
our objective c code to swift code at least that is my understanding even i am not really sure so just search for pch click next keep the name as it is click create okay then i'll just copy paste that code as well i have already written it so here you will just have to add this sorry this this entire thing so i'll just copy paste it and here you will have to add this entire thing just remove this all right so yeah that's it for prefix header next you will have to go to your ios app select targets go to build settings and here you will have to search for prefix header so i'll just search for it and here uh, inside apple c lang language you have to uh, make this as yes inside prefix header just uh, click on it and here you will have to write uh, this part okay now here instead of my ios app you will have to write your own project name so as you can see my project name is my ios app so instead of my ios app write whatever is your project name so this would be common for all uh, this dollar uh, src root uh, this bracket and this will be different and this will be again common for all as long as you have provided the name of the file as prefix header dot pch as well so i'll just click on enter now that's fine uh, the next thing which we have to do is okay uh, we had to add this import inside our bridging header as well so i will just om open our bridging header file and add this import next what i'll do is that i will write all the boilerplate code which will help us to pick a photo from our photos app we will convert it to grayscale and then display it inside an image view so i'll back in a bit okay so i have written the rest of the boilerplate pl code as well uh, so I'm just picking a photo from the photos app and displaying it inside our image view. So firstly, you will have to go to info.plist and you will have to add this privacy photo library usage description permission. Next inside view controller, I have imported photos and photos UI and I've also extended PHP curve view controller delegate. I have created an UI image view as well as a UI button. Then this uh, basic stuff of translate auto uh resizing mask because i want to use ns layout constraint same for my button i've added some title as well as some one button click as well and here i have added both of them to our view and i have written some ns layout constraints as well to uh, our image view as well as button once on the button click uh, we are asking for permission if we have the required permission then we call pick photo if not we are asking for the required permission from the user and once permission has been granted we basically launch our ph picker configuration and we only filter by images selection limit is one and we launch our ph picker view controller delegate and once uh, user sees the photos and picks one uh, we are dismissing our uh, picker and we get the first result out of it uh, then we create an ui image out of it and then we call handle selected image uh, then I don't think we need to do this. Why, why am I doing this? Save data. Why am I saving this? I don't think we need to save this. So basically what we can do is we can just grab this code because I have copy pasted it from my <laughs> previous tutorial. That's why I'm uh, getting this. Okay. We can do something like this. So we already have the UI image right inside image. We convert it to grayscale and then while displaying it we can do something like this okay so here we are using open cv uh, to convert our image to grayscale image so this the method which we have defined inside objective c plus plus we are using that so here i will just open self now if i try to okay why i'm getting this okay we i had to add this question mark as well now if i try to run this uh, make sure you are running it on a real device uh, as far as i know it does not work on simulator open cv does not work on simulator so if you see the output over here i have one button called button title uh, so if i click on my button it opens the image picker for me i'll select one image and as you can see over here, it has been converted to grayscale using OpenCV. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.